What's up, tech enthusiasts? Today, we're uncovering the money-making magic behind generative AI, and trust me, the numbers are staggering. OpenAI, the brains behind ChatGPT, might be hemorrhaging money, with reports suggesting losses nearing a jaw-dropping $5 billion this year. But hold on. Before you dismiss them as another tech bubble casualty, there's a bigger picture we need to unravel. How are these companies surviving, let alone thriving, in such a costly field? All right, let's talk TikTok. You know, the app that's practically taken over the internet? Turns out, they're shelling out a whopping $30 million every single month to Microsoft for access to OpenAI's AI models. That's right, TikTok's need for powerful AI is so huge that they're practically financing a significant portion of Microsoft's AI revenue. This goes to show the insane demand for this technology, even at a premium price. Now, let's shift gears to Microsoft. They saw this AI gold rush coming a mile away, and they went all in by investing heavily in OpenAI. And guess what? It's paying off big time. Their cloud computing service, Azure, is experiencing explosive growth, with a large chunk of that driven by, you guessed it, AI. Microsoft's bet on OpenAI is turning them into a powerhouse in the cloud and AI arenas. But hold on, we can't forget about Google. They're not just sitting idly by while Microsoft rakes in the AI dough. Google's weaving AI into practically every nook and cranny of their services, especially their crown jewel search. From AI-powered search suggestions to those nifty summaries that pop up, Google's making sure they stay ahead in the AI game, leveraging their massive user base to gather data and refine their algorithms. And don't even get me started on Amazon. These guys are masters of personalization, and they're using AI to take it to a whole new level. Ever wonder how they seem to magically recommend products you didn't even know you needed? Yup, it's AI at work, analyzing your every click and purchase to create a scary accurate profile of your preferences. Talk about targeted advertising. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. We're seeing AI permeate pretty much every industry imaginable. Think customer service with AI-powered chatbots available 24-7. Then there's e-commerce, where AI personalizes your shopping experience. Even supply chain management, a traditionally complex beast, is getting streamlined with AI-powered optimization. And let's not forget healthcare, where AI is revolutionizing drug discovery and diagnostics. This is just the tip of the iceberg, folks. Speaking of shaking things up, let's talk Meta. You know, the company formerly known as Facebook? They're jumping into the AI ring with their brand spanking new Llama 3 models. And get this, they're offering them mostly for free. This could be a major game changer, putting powerful AI tools into the hands of startups and smaller companies that can't necessarily afford OpenAI's hefty price tag. It's a bold move, and I'm here for it. But OpenAI is not backing down, oh no, they've been busy cooking up some AI magic of their own. Meet GPT, 4 o Mini, a leaner, meaner version of their flagship model. They're touting its efficiency and affordability, making it a tempting option for businesses looking for a powerful but budget-friendly AI solution. It's like they're saying, we hear you, smaller businesses, we got you covered too. Now, let's zoom in on how all this AI wizardry translates to our daily grind. Imagine having an AI assistant that's not just a glorified calendar reminder. We're talking about AIs that can draft emails, summarize lengthy documents, and even generate creative content. That's right, writer's block might soon become a thing of the past. Some folks are understandably nervous about AI taking over jobs, but hey, look at it this way. AI can handle the tedious tasks, freeing us humans to focus on the creative, strategic stuff. It's all about adaptation, my friends. Take a step back with me for a second. The evolution of AI has been nothing short of jaw-dropping. We've gone from basic algorithms that could barely recognize patterns to sophisticated models that can generate human-quality text, compose music, and even design websites. And we're just getting started. As AI research progresses and those datasets get larger, we can expect even more mind-blowing capabilities in the near future. This is an exciting time to be an AI enthusiast, that's for sure. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows in AI land. We gotta address the elephant in the room, the ethical implications. AI bias is a real concern, with models potentially perpetuating existing societal biases if we're not careful. Then there's the whole issue of AI-generated misinformation, which can spread like wildfire online. These are serious challenges, 
and the tech communities got to work hard to address them. Transparency, accountability, and ethical guidelines are key here, folks. We need to make sure AI benefits all of humanity, not just a select few. So, what does the future hold for AI? Well, if the past few years are anything to go by, we're in for a wild ride. We'll likely see even more powerful models with capabilities that'll make our current tech look like something out of the Stone Age. Think AI integrated into every aspect of our lives, from personalized medicine to self-driving cars to even more immersive virtual experiences. It's both exhilarating and a tad bit scary, but that's the nature of technological revolutions, isn't it? The key is to approach it all with a healthy dose of curiosity and caution. All right, folks, that's a wrap for today's deep dive into the world of generative AI and its mind-boggling economics. I hope you found it insightful, eye-opening, and maybe even a little bit entertaining. I'm always working hard to bring you the latest AI news and insights, so if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay in the loop. And hey, let's spark some discussion in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the future of AI? What excites you the most? What concerns you? Let's chat it up. And remember, keep those AI minds sharp, my friends.